Hey guys, welcome back to Flat Creek Digital. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sublimate a mouse pad from start to finish. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be using Inkscape, of course. I love Inkscape. I have tutorials for uh, a few things on Inkscape uh, on my channel as well. And of course, I will have the link to the download for Inkscape in the description. And I will also have the link uh, to the template that I'm going to be using uh, that I will be selling in my Etsy shop. And let's just get to it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is, of course, have Inkscape open. And we're going to go right here to our Edit Properties. And I'm going to change my uh, page format to U.S. Letter. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to unclick this always on top. Basically, if you can read right there, it's it sets the page border is always on top of your drawing. I just don't like that. It's kind of distracting. So I'll take that away. All right, I'm just going to exit out of this. And I'm going to uh, go down here to my file folder. And I'm going to find my template. And my design, and this is my mouse pad template. I'm going to drag that in, and this is the design we're going to be using in this tutorial. So basically, you're just going to click and drag it into Inkscape. Okay, now to make this easier to see, I'm going to take my template and we're going to go up here to the tool uh, that's the square tool, and we're going to make a square. And we're just basically doing that by getting our mouse and clicking and dragging it out. Okay, that's how you're going to make your square. And you go back up here to the arrow tool, or which I call the selector tool. I'm just going to delete this one. Okay, now that we have this one, we want it to go behind the template. Now the reason for this is so you can see if you are missing any spaces once you get your design inside of your template. Uh, you could also just change the background color, or you can do it this way. All right, and I'm also going to take uh, our template and I'm going to turn it sideways just to be able to. Oh, sorry, my printer's making noise. Okay, just so we can see. I'll stop in a minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're going to make our design go behind our template. So we're just going to use our layering tools and we're going to layer one back because if we did all the way back, it's going to go behind our uh, square that we did, which is fine. You can always break it back up. Now let me show you what I mean and why this, you know, the red box helps out. Okay. So when you're changing the shape to your design, you can see here, there's red spots, okay? That is where you're going to need to move your design. You don't want to see any red. That means you will have white area on your mouse pad. All right, so let's zoom back out. And let's start shaping this design to fit within our template. That's what I love about the templates is you can get the maximum uh, part of your whole design. You, can, you, know, you make sure you have all your words in there that you need to. Move that up just a tad. Just to make sure I have it all in there. I think that would be some better. So she looks a little bit scrunched. So I'm going to Great. Okay. That's it. Um, you've got your template. Uh, you have your design in there. You can always zoom in. Make sure you don't see any red areas. And of course, if your design was red, you would want to choose a contrast color for your background so you can see if there's any gaps. All right. That looks good. All right. Now that we have that, 
we are going to use our selector tool and we want to delete the red background okay and we're just going to highlight everything we're going to right click and we're going to group and we're going to move it over to our page you're going to flip it and we can go up here to our alignment tools and change this relative to now um, if it looks different if you're on any of these tabs it's fine uh, you just have to click on to align right here okay and relative to page okay and then we're going to go center on vertical and center on horizontal all right now that has it perfectly centered on your page so now you are ready to print okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to file and we're going to go over here to print and we are going to uh, choose the printer you will be using for sublimation and we'll be going to more settings and I have my eight and a half by eleven paper and my paper cassette and I have my letter chosen I'm going to keep it on portrait I'm going to change to presentation paper matte and I'm going to change my quality to high and I'm going to unclick all those extra options I'm going to click on print preview I'm going to go over here to more options I'm going to choose automatic for my color I'm going to unclick my directional and turn on my mirror image and then we're going to hit OK and then we're going to hit print And then it'll take it just a minute and the print preview will pop up and this is a good way to make sure everything looks uh, correct before you hit print and we're gonna hit print because everything looks good all right I will bring y'all back once the image is printed out okay guys we got the image printed out and it looks great um, we are going to get our mouse pad and I'll have a link uh, to the mouse pads that I use in, in the description below. And basically, you're just going to take your mouse pad and you're going to lint roll it, of course. And you're going to line it up on your template. And you got just enough bleed in here uh, to see, you know, where your mouse pad needs to go. And once you get it where you want it, you're going to tape it down really well. I might have tried adhesive spray on the mouse pads and it doesn't want to do too great. Um, if you have an adhesive spray that you use for mouse pads, let me know. So far I've been having to use the tape for these. And this is just some heat tape uh, that I got off of Amazon. Uh, the mouse pads come from Amazon as well. I'm probably doing a little bit too much <laughs> than I need to, but I like taping it down really good. Okay, so now that I got it taped down, I'm going to move it over to the heat press and I will bring you over there. Okay, guys, I got it over to the heat press. Um, you're going to flip it over, of course, design on top. And you're going to make sure you have some butcher paper up under your design because it will get on your pad or your heat press. Okay. And I'm going to be pressing at 400 degrees for 60 seconds on light pressure. And of course, make sure you get butcher paper to stick on top. And I will bring you all back and show you the finished look. Okay guys, um, this is how it turned out. Looks great. Hold on, let me see if I can turn the light on so you can see a little bit better. Ah, there's a little bit of a shadow, but turned out really good. Beautiful mouse pad. Um, all right guys, that's it. Um, like I said, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Um, light pressure on these mouse pads turned out really good and like I said I'll have the link 
to the uh, mouse pads in my description and my template. And I just want to thank y'all for watching. I hope this video helps you. And please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, it really helps me be able to make more videos like this. And I really appreciate it. See y'all next time.